exciting day because you guys are seeing this video. Our magazine is officially out. So I'm recording this the day before, but our magazine is officially out today. If you did not know, we are on the cover of Military Family Magazine's April issue. If you guys want to get a copy for yourself and subscribe to their monthly magazine, um, I will leave all their information and the link to their website and everything down in the description box below. They are a really great magazine, like even if you don't want to subscribe for us <laughs> to see us, um, they are really great because they give a lot of helpful tips as for military families and military associated people in all branches and so I would definitely recommend their magazine but I got the like hard copies of the magazines in a couple weeks ago it's probably like a week and a half two weeks ago something like that now and I was so excited it came to my doorstep and luckily Ben came home for lunch that day and I decided to open it with him so I recorded that we are not like put together at all in this um, recording of opening the magazines for the first time but it's a really cool memory to have and to see like our first reaction of seeing ourselves on the cover of a magazine so I'm gonna go ahead and insert that clip right now all right this is our magazine that we're on that's not me <laughs> okay be gentle with them okay to pick up this one the back side huh? how do you be on the back <laughs> <laughs> Lovey. How cool. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Just one, just one, just look at one. Oh, and look, there we are again. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. I don't want to touch it, I had a lot of carpet on my hands. <gasps> yeah. We're on the next stage, too. Oh my gosh. Whoa. This looks so professional. Wow. Oh, there we are, Reality. I did. Oh my goodness. Look at you on the front page of a magazine. By the time you're three. Okay, expect the unexpected. During our interview for this yeah. issue's cover story, Shauna Connor confessed that when she first met her husband, Air Force Staff Sergeant Ben Connor, on a trip to Ace Hardware in their small Maryland town, she knew nothing about military life. Oh my gosh, how crazy is it that that's in a magazine? That's kind of hilarious. My mom's going to die. She really is. Gonna She's die. probably going to bring it to Ace. <laughs> she definitely is going to bring it to Ace Hardware. <laughs> Four months after Ben made a connection by oh made a connection by commenting on her cowboy boots. I can't believe it. You can't believe it? Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe it either, Elodie. You excited, Mama? Yeah, it's cool seeing it like you know, actually now in print and getting to read what she wrote about us. Yeah. It's a little cringy, I'm not gonna lie. It's a little crazy? A little cringy. Like, oh, cringy. Like, not her writing, but like reading about myself. Like, yeah. I, I feel uncomfortable with it. You feel uncomfortable? Yeah. Huh. Okay. Like, I, I don't know. I have to read it, though. <laughs> the first sentence I just read. So, look. <laughs> this is so accurate, but it's like, damn. <laughs> So it literally says a feature. The first sentence right here in green, it says, A few years ago, Shauna Connor found herself pregnant and lonely in England. <laughs> the accuracy, but holy crap. Oh my god. That's a kicker. Yeah, she Pretty crazy to see myself and my family on the cover of a magazine. <laughs> I feel like it was also crazy to like read about the interview that I did with the editor, yeah. Melissa. How she put it into words. Yeah, because yeah. like, I don't know, it's just weird. Normally like, 
my words are taken into someone else's hands and then written about. Yeah. You know, like I'm a normal person. That does that doesn't normally happen. So. Or if someone describe you in a magazine. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's kind of on my comfort huh. zone, if I'm being honest. But it was really <clears throat> cool, very well written. I think she did an amazing job on the piece and the pictures and everything. So um, if you want to read the whole article and see it for yourself, like I said, go down to the link to the link in the description box below. It will take you through the steps to like subscribe to her magazine and you can view all of their issues because like I said, there's more great issues besides just mine. <laughs> but we are very excited about our issue. But right now, we are on our way to drop Elodie off at school. Ben is with us. He's normally not with us on school drop-off days, but he is today because we have to then go drop off our Land Rover to go get fixed. I don't think I've talked about it on the vlog. I think only on Instagram. Poor baby got a tramp stamp. <sighs> so basically a couple, not, it was in February. Yeah, so February, like a month and a half ago? February 22nd. I know the date okay. very well. So roughly a month and a half ago. We were, Elodie was actually at school. Ben like had the morning off from work. And we were at a red light with Oaks in the back. And we were just sitting there and next thing you know, someone just comes up from behind us and hits us on the back. Luckily, like Ben held the brake and stuff so he didn't go into any of the cars in front of us because we were at a stoplight. But um, the gentleman said that I guess his foot slipped. I don't really know what happened. He hit more on my side and he was like coming over to a turning lane to get onto the highway is what we were sitting in. So I really think that he probably was about to miss the turn lane to get onto the highway and he tried to swerve over real quick to get in and misjudged the distance and hit us on the back. So yeah, it was a bit unfortunate. I'm very bummed that our beautiful Land Rover has, as Ben likes to say. It was a pretty big bump. Well, yeah, a little. You can't say little bump. I mean, okay. it's got a, it's a, like six thousand dollars worth of damage. Yeah, so it's not a um, little bump. Yeah, it was kind of a bummer, but it's okay. We're gonna go get it fixed finally. Um, luckily, you know, they found out that we were 100% not at fault, so it's not on us to fix it or anything, which is the like huge blessing in it that we don't really have to worry about that. But we do have to spend time without our Land Rover, which is a bit unfortunate. So finally. Some of the, most of the parts came in and we are able to go take it into the body shop to get repaired. They had to order a brand new like lift gate um, from the UK. So we had to wait on that and everything because all that needs repaired. I will show you guys the damage in a second. They have most of the parts. They're still waiting on a couple. So it's still going to be at least probably like four weeks. Hopefully not more because of course we do have a move coming up and we need our car for it. But it's going to be probably around a month-ish time frame that we won't have our car. So yeah, we're going to go pick up the new car today see what they give us and let's drop off crazy monster first yeah we have to go drop off that lady yes i want to show you guys the damage real quick okay so this is the damage so it's not it like looks worse in a different lighting condition uh yeah it was a nice like half on our bumper but yeah so um it's a lot more damage than it seems kind of expensive so we just got the car and this is the car that they gave us <laughs> oh my gosh, a Jeep Wrangler is what they chose. Ben is getting Oakley's um, camera set up right now on the back of the seat right there so we can see him up here. But yeah, um, pretty crazy. I've never had a Jeep, Jeep Wrangler before. I've never really looked at them too much. But it's definitely nice. I like it, but we've been like sitting here like comparing it to our... Land Rover Discovery, which is probably really no comparison, but um, it's very like the windshield's super close on these, but the top comes off. So hopefully we have like a sunny day, warmer day. In the next two months, we're going to have a sunny day. So it's gonna yeah. Be so it's like a no-brainer. Yeah. I told Ben like, to oh, right that's here? a good. What do you want? Like right here? <clears throat> yeah, wherever. That's a good position for the camera. Well, that's really nice. Um, we're not gonna like take off the roof and like go drive on the interstate or anything. Like I'm not here for that. And I don't wanna do that with the kids obviously, but I know Elodie would enjoy it like, you know, driving to the park or something like that. Something super easy and close. So we'll probably do that. But it's definitely nice. I feel like a little claustrophobic up here. Every Like there's not really like a dashboard. I don't know, you don't have a bunch of places to put things. So like, I don't know if it's like mom car approved, but um, for like a rental car, it's really nice. So we'll probably have this for about two months because the auto body repair shop was going through like 
when all of our parts would be in and stuff for our discovery and it's kind of all over the place they like some parts now some parts are saying they should have been delivered yesterday but aren't so now they probably won't be delivered for three to four weeks some are saying six to eight weeks like it's all over the map so yeah we're kind of like getting comfy because we will probably have this car for like at least a month possibly up to two months but hopefully we'll get back in june <laughs> right before we have to move in pcs so yeah this is the car you sit up really nice in it i sit up nice in it yeah it makes me fix my posture uh, yeah you can't lean back because it'll, it'll squish it oakley that's true it's much more like <clears throat> yeah which is probably good up. for me since i have so many back <laughs> issues <laughs> yeah but it looks good. Something I noticed like with kids, Elodie doesn't have a ton of leg room in her car seat and then I don't have a ton of leg room up here. But the back is really roomy, which I do like. That will be super helpful for like strollers and everything like that. It's also very flashy because of the color of it, which like we didn't choose that obviously. Like this is just a rental car, but it's very flashy. <laughs> Maybe not my first color choice because I like my whites and stuff, but Pretty good. We're going to go pick up Elodie from school right now and then we have to like go run home real quick get her lunch um, She's gonna skip nap today because we have Oakley six month checkup. He turned six months a couple days ago Wow. Hey Elodie, do you like the new car? I do! <laughs> How much do you like it? A lot? Yeah. Or a little? Yeah! A lot? So we're driving home and she keeps pointing out all the other Jeeps that she sees now <laughs> And she's like, that's like our car, right? Yeah, you're really excited about the car. But what I brought the camera out to talk to you guys about <laughs> was um, I got home and I looked down on my jacket. I had just put this jacket on because it was like laying, I just washed it and it was laying in like our pile of clean laundry. So yes, like the pile of clean laundry hadn't been folded yet. And so I grabbed it before running out the door to get Elodie from school and I put it on and when I got home, I looked down and if you can tell, there's like, Velcro down my jacket on this side. I had underwear stuck to my jacket on the front. Um, luckily, they were black, so I'm hoping no one noticed it, but it was kind of noticeable. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is such like just a, an embarrassing thing to do. Like, literally, I have underwear stuck on my jacket as I'm picking up my daughter for preschool. Like, <sighs> so yeah, that was kind of like a funny situation, but we're home now. We are going to, well, I'm going to get Elodie lunch, um, which we're making mac and cheese right now. Yeah, I know you're super hungies. And then I'm about to take him out of his car seat. Like I said, we just got home, but um, we Wait, then are going. Hey, girl, you're crazy. I know, Sissy's always waking you up, isn't she? I know. You're a happy boy though. I love you. But then we're going to go to his six month appointment soon. Make sure he's all healthy. You see how big he's gotten. Right? Okay, so we just got done with Oakley's appointment and we're back in the car. Hopefully this doesn't go forward. And this is the second time it's happened, but people keep like waving at us in the Jeep and we're like, Hey y'all, like we don't, we're not Jeep people. So like, we don't know this Jeep life. And I was telling that I think this is like a thing with Jeep people that you like, wave at people and then Elodie well, Elodie's you can got the vibe here in the background like she's totally here for this Jeep life because every Jeep we've seen which is a lot <laughs> she's calling it out and telling us about the Jeep so um, I was also telling Ben that I think there's some sort of like duck thing with Jeeps like you leave a duck on other Jeeps you see or I collect ducks I don't know if you guys are Jeep people out there let me know in the comments like what it is we're gonna head to Target right now and look at feeding stuff for Oakley because we're gonna start him on solids very very soon and I need to get some supplies because we have like nothing left over from Elodie and some of her stuff is pink. <laughs> and so that's not really a huge issue, but I like to get him some boyish stuff and stuff for like oats, you know? And so I think we're gonna do like a mix of purees and baby led weaning. So that's the other thing is I didn't do any pure purees with Elodie. So I want to get like little containers and stuff to like be able to uh, make some homemade purees for him and like package up and like take on the go and that sort of thing. So I'm just gonna go look at Target, see what they have, and then go from there and see what I need to order online. So I'll probably do like a full video on that mm -hmm. a different time. And when we introduce Boots to him for the first time, of course I'll like vlog all that. But we just left his appointment and he's doing really well. He got some shots today, but he was honestly a real big trooper. He did not cry that much at all. And he did not cry instantly either. Like he was a big trooper. He is in the 
13th percentile for his weight, which is what we are finding at home too with our scale. But he's like right on track, so that's good. We just make smaller babies. And then his head circumference made me laugh because he is the 11th percentile <laughs> for his head circumference. He's just a little boy. He's a little sweet, tiny oaksy bear. And then his height. Gosh, I forgot what percentile his height was. Man, I should have looked. I don't know, but he's trying to normal. He's like, what, 26 and a half inches? Something like that. Yeah, I think so. So yeah, he's doing really well. Um, and now we're gonna go back to his nine month visit and then like right after his nine month visit, we should be moving, which is mind blowing. So we'll be moving and he'll be but, like nine months old. That's crazy, but exciting at the same time.